I can say with the most utmost confidence that this is the worst Saw film in the franchise because of my god, this movie sucks. Let's get to the review. Welcome back to the channel, this is Let's Be Real with Brad. If you enjoy movies and TV reviews and other movie related content, then this is the channel for you. So consider hitting that subscribe button, dropping a like on this video, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Today on our weekly Saw reviews, we will be talking about the seventh film in the franchise with Saw the Final Chapter, or what some might call Saw 3D. Kevin Gruber is back as the director who directed the previous film. This movie intended to be the final chapter of the Saw franchise after the massive drop in the box office for the sixth installment. For this final chapter, the film was marketed heavily in a very gimmicky fashion with it being filmed in real D3D, which was very new and exciting at its release. Unfortunately, seeing this movie 11 years later, you see this doesn't hold up at all and probably never did when it came out. Let's hop on over to the negative starting with the horrible 3D effects. I think every fan can agree how horrible and simply ridiculous these effects look. They have the cheapest and most obvious ways of inserting the 3D effects that look so much sillier when watching it in its 2D version. But I think the worst case of this is the use of pink blood. My god. It looks so awful because when you have the 3D glasses on it, it makes all the colors look a little bit darker so the glasses would tint the pink blood red. But unfortunately, if you didn't see this film in 3D when it came out, shit out of luck for you because you couldn't see it the way it was intended to be. It is also even worse when I complimented every film so far with incredible visual effects, even if the movie itself wasn't all that great. How in the world did they screw this up? Even the traps themselves look fake. They are also so pathetic and make no sense. Most of the time, they would give us some stupid, not thought out excuse of why these people were in these traps. The whole film franchise is based its existence on these traps and you couldn't even get them right? What a damn shame. The next major issue I have with this movie is the story. The story is easily the worst out of this whole franchise and it's not even close. The film is all over the place with not knowing what characters to follow. The film opens with the worst and most hilarious trap of the series that felt like a parody. Then we go through a random series of traps with this brand new character that we don't know a lot about. Then a group of jigsaw survivors are in it for like five minutes and never come back. We also get this cop who is following the case, so mix this all together in a 90 minute movie and let's just see how good it is. I felt as though none of these stories were remotely good as they all felt meaningless and strung together with traps upon traps that kept my head spinning. I think half of these issues also stem from the horrendous god awful writing. The film has zero suspense and tension than we have been used to seeing in some of the previous films. This movie filled itself with non-dangerous traps that had no meaning to them top with the most unintentionally hilarious pieces of dialogue ever, including this one right here. You're crazy. You know that? I knew you were crazy the minute I laid eyes on you crazy. This movie fills itself to the brim with so much cringe that I could not stop face palming throughout the runtime. The acting is easily the worst in the franchise as every performance in this film is simply inadequate. Tobin Bell had three minutes of screen time in this whole movie, which is the lowest of the whole franchise. He shows up in the dumbest way possible in this ridiculous ridiculous backwards baseball cap. John would never wear a hat in the first place, so this reflects what a piece of trash this movie is. So we have to get into the technical aspects of this movie. They are simply the worst of the whole series. I found the editing to be so annoying and being all over the place that it wasn't making any sense why they were doing the stuff that they were doing. The directing is also just so 
wrong. There is nothing scary or interesting Grubert did with the shots to make them haunting in any way. The cinematography was dull and offered no visual flair to the film, making it the most boring looking film to date. Now that I got all those negatives out of the way, let's talk about the very few positives this movie has. For starters, this movie is very watchable. If you hate this franchise and decided to watch all these movies, you will probably hate this way more than I do. I enjoy how freaking stupid it all is, but this one in particular somewhat takes itself seriously, especially with its awful, hilarious twist that I saw miles away. The last positive thing I can say about this movie is that this movie is so entertaining. This might have been the most enjoyable because I had no idea what was happening in certain moments of the film. It flies by so fast with trap after trap and being so bad. I could sit through and sort of watch this movie again if that makes any sense. Overall, this is easily the worst soft film in the franchise that made me cringe, laugh, and facepalm through the 90 minute runtime. The filmmakers didn't care about this movie at all with a forced final chapter to this franchise. It was simply made for the diehard fans of this franchise who have gone to the theaters every October to support each new installment. I am giving Saw the final chapter a 3 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the following Saw review.